som ett högkort, kan jag säga. Så där en lång form. That's it. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have technology. So I'm going to choose a property here. So we might put some light up here, give us some lights up slightly on the, on the stage. Otherwise this won't work, it's too dark. So <laughs> <laughs> This is obviously the drone deploy mesh, uh, three-dimensional model. And I've got some core logic property information on the right-hand side, just telling me a bit about when it was built, the condition it's in, and some of the valuation and mortgage information that might be relevant to refinancing this home, and some of the information about the actual physical structure. This is all coming from core logic's uh, cloud servers. So then I want to break that down and actually want to see the property in its elements. So now I've split that property up. So again, I've got information about the first floor, if I want to go to that, and then I can start to walk through that property. So I'm bringing that experience to the individuals or to the potential customers, and I can move around the home and so forth. So this, well, I stood up to the um, National Association of Realtors, we did a big, big splash in Colorado Springs about two months ago with 350 realtors. When they saw this, they actually went ballistic and said, you've just sold us a major scheduling headache. Can we start to do this with Matrix 360? Uh, how can we actually take this to the next stage? So that's what we're building now. So even to the point where I can do IoT stuff and say, oh look, I've got a camera, a security system, and there's something crossing the room over there, and actually start to see that sort of information. So that's, again, very powerful. Now, the other thing we've done is, if I go back, and John, I'm meeting you again to reset your light there, is if I go to my property menu and look at another property, and I'm going to do this one now, and I'm going to actually working. Cool. So now this is a property in Connecticut. Now, if I can get in really close to this, and I'm not going to propose to John, don't worry. <laughs> um, you start to see some rendering, which is very interesting, because this is from a drone deploy mesh, which was a particularly tricky property to capture because it actually had very narrow uh, properties next door, so very narrow areas to fly with it. Now, we cheated a little bit. Um, we have some very smart Russians who are one of our uh, kind of um, uh, strategic partners who actually have built some very smart ways of actually taking a mesh and doing doing some things to it to actually really pinpoint, make it pristine. So if there's something we're going to discuss with uh, Nick and James and Jono in terms of what else can we do with 3D rendering, because when you sell a house, you want to be able to render it perfectly, um, because that's how people perceive a house or expect to perceive a house. So it's almost, you know, again, pretty cool. So that's kind of what we're doing with augmented reality, and I think, you know, we are going to get to a point where this is what we want to build for every property we touch and we sell in the residential market. And on that note, I'm going to open it up for questions. I will kind of...